Hey what's up guys welcome back to project world We have an HTML DVR today Let's get into the unboxing shall we Here we have the 12 volt power adapter, the USB mouse, the remote control, the user manual, and the software CD for the net configuration. They also have provided the hard disk screws and the connector for the PTZ function. Here we have the DVR box. The ports for the camera signal, the VGA port, the HDMI port, Ethernet port, USB ports, the 12 volt power input. What we have here is a bullet style camera. The power connector and the signal connector. And this is a dome style camera. These two are similar in quality. The only difference is the design. The dome style camera is more discreet. There are three holes by which it is to be attached to a wall or ceiling. The power connector and the signal connector. Assembling the bracket for the bullet style camera is easy and only requires a screwdriver. The viewing angle can be easily adjusted to your preference. Let's insert a hard disk to the DVR so that it can save the camera footage. Now we connect the cables to the designated slots in the hard disk. We line up the hard disk and hold it down with the screws. It is recommended that you use 4 screws but I use 2 for demonstration purposes.
We place the cover back and tighten it down with the screws. Now let's fix up a coax cable with the designated B and C connectors. Be careful when cutting the wires. You may end up cutting yourself with the blade if you use too much force. A few moments later. Remember to tighten securely and to cover the connections with electrical tape. We will do the same thing to the other side as well. One eternity later. Finally it's done. Powering on the DVR system. The necessary connections need to be made in order for it to operate successfully. Since I use the HDMI port, I do not need to connect to the VGA. We will then format the hard disk to make room for new recordings. The camera is working perfectly. There are many settings to control the DVR. Configuring the connection to the internet will be covered in a later video, so remember to subscribe. It also supports motion detected email notifications. Let's test out the recording and playback functions.
In this DVR model, the removable drive should be plugged into the USB port at the bottom. The port at the top is reserved for the USB mouse. You need to select the desired period of time you need to backup. Thereafter, it will be saved to the removable drive after pressing the backup button. Thank you for watching and if you like the video please support the channel by subscribing and giving it a like.